Hello. Today I hope to inspire you through a different approach how you can build a bond with the people that are buying you art. How can you actually get to the people in a way that is perhaps more secure in a way that uh, many other methods in which we are selling uh, you art. This uh, method is using a completely different approach. I have used this method. It is a very successful method and for many artists it will be the right method. I for myself am using a different, uh, a little bit different method. It is all more client oriented, uh, finding out what clients are needing, wanted, how can I complete them with my values, my artistic vision and in this way I'm building a long lasting uh, bound. But this approach is really, uh, when you can do it this way, it's absolutely a, a luxury. And most of the artists are living in a, in a, in a surrounding in a, in a market that is really sometimes crowded like the social media you have um, developed some art and you are going with your art on social media and you are discovering that so many other artists are actually doing uh, kind of uh, almost the same kind of art or something that is similar and it is really really hard in such a position to to sell your art and to, to get the necessary attention. So this method will work for you when you are willing actually to draw more attention to you and you are um, willing actually to uh, use some methods that will get you the attention. And then you are actually talking more about you, yourself and your art, the values that are uh, uh, perhaps also a little bit provoking and you are using this as a leverage to get their attention, to get uh, the audience to, to get to know you and then you are uh, building a bond and uh, with this bond comes the possibility to actually uh, sell you art. It is more about what you have to offer and the willingness to also break some, how to sell it, break some eggs to make an uh, uh, omelette. It is a method that really worked well for and is working, still working for many successful uh, artists and sometimes perhaps you are wondering why artists that are provoking so much are making such good money in the artistic world. It is possible because they get the rid of the myth that actually as an artist you have to be, uh, how to put it in words, a salesperson that is always on the side of the uh, of the client and all he wants is to do some good for the client it is a method that is a little bit more punk when it comes down to to selling art and i have um, made a small uh, graphic to show it to you i hope you can see this it is following three steps the first step is the persuasion, the second uh, phase is the proof and the third step is actually the bound and it's going through some smaller steps that are leading to a, to a position where actually you are not only selling to your uh, client but staying in contact and you are having this client over longer time and you are developing a kind of care about this person because there is a bond. And the first uh, step is the one that we are most likely always uh, seeing in, in the media. It's the provocation. Provocation is perhaps a bad word, but nevertheless, in this overcrowded scenario that today is the most of the art markets or the possibilities to show your art, it is really hard to get their attention. And the best way to get their attention very often is to provoke. You can do it in a positive way, negative way. There are some topics, there are some values that are really where people in the worst possible scenario really fighting over it. And when your art has such content, has such value, that can be a provocation. It is the easiest way to get their attention. And why is it the best way to get uh, their attention? Because actually, um, this provocation and the, 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 the 
confrontation is a self-perpetuating crowd builder. So it is possible to build up your, your audience through something that is drawing the attention. It just has to draw the attention of people, two people that has, have perhaps a different point of view about the values that are in your art. And you are just starting this, this conversation or this confrontation about those values, about those content, perhaps about you artistic vision that is a little bit provocative and in this way you can really easy build up very fast a crowd that is talking about those values that that they see manifested in your art and this is making it very uh, easy to um, to to how to say to proclaim the values of your art to get more information about you and your art out there and this is uh, using as uh, something that or is all to our that we all uh, humans are having when something is in a way provoking emotion in us positive or negative strong emotions and we are beginning a conversation about this with other people fighting or standing on the same side we want to have as much information about this as, as it is uh, possible right now when i'm taking the uh, uh, when i'm recording the video there's actually a lot of going uh, on about um, in the political world and there's so much controversy right now and what is really interesting that the boring topic two years ago it was absolutely boring to talk about politics so many people are becoming experts about the people, what they think, what they like, dislike. And I'm wondering what, what genius it, it is that people that were three, two years ago, absolute boring, about a boring topic, are now having so much information, knowledge and so on out there about them themselves. And uh, this is a method that is always working because when we are getting emotionally involved, we are seeing the, the the positive emotion in that uh, in this and we are becoming fans of this topic or we are seeing the danger of something and that's why we want to get as much information as possible and in this stage you have all you have to uh, done until now is provoking something feeding this provocation triggering more and more people to get their attention and spreading the information or the values or whatever it is about uh, your art and you have a growing audience and this is leading you actually to the second stage because in the second stage it's about proving that you are um, how to put it in words a vital part of this conversation you are a vital part of this topic you are a vital part of this value and you are a very important contributor what you are offering is an important part so you are included in an ever-growing um, audience that is seeing you as a kind of key person in, in a way and you are all you have to do is because you are producing your uh, your, your artwork and the values you are proclaiming is not something that you are just uh, it's not not fake I mean you are standing behind those values that started uh, all, all this controversy that was the um, provocation in the beginning and you are securing your position as something who is vital to to actually to this topic that the people are talking so much about it and you are completing this topic those values this artistic vision in a way through your art and in this way you are in a very uh, good position right now because you have all this attention and you have proven that you are important part of, of this attention, that you have what you have to offer is important and it's getting more and more important to people who now in the third uh, phase can develop a bond with you because people are feeling so emotionally strong <clears throat> about this topic. They want to participate, they want to have a part of it, being a part of it. And the fastest way to being a part of it is to get some of your values. This can be 
in a way what you are saying and how you see the things and they can become a kind of fan of you but also one of the easiest way is to actually perhaps buy a piece of your art because now they have the feeling of being in this movement and being part of this movement is giving them some uh, a feeling of, of fulfillment because they care so much about this they feel emotional about this and now they can have a part be a part of it and buy a part of it it is really simplified a process that we all know uh, because we in a way are buying some kind of uh, perhaps car some kind of clothing some kind of uh, electronic gadgets because we want to be a part of, of some movement of something that is important in our life or is giving our life uh, importance it is giving our life uh, value and the easiest way to actually feel smart is to buy as something that is making you look smart this is the way we humans are uh, built and in this way we are able to develop this this uh, bond and we want to uh, have confirmed what we are getting involved in, in, uh, into and all you have to do then as an artist is to give this kind of conf uh, conf uh, confirmation is to uh, the possible art buyer or even if he is just a fan now and then will become someone who is buying your art or even just your artistic skills your creativity whatever you are offering you are confirming that this person has made the right decision made the right decision to decide for one side to uh, proclaim his own uh, beliefs and, and 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 that he's caring about this and it is also the possibility with this uh, confirmation to build a long lasting um, bound with this kind of audience that is becoming not only a fan but an art buyer because then you are together on a journey on a journey together to reach for certain goals and since you have positioned yourself in in the second uh, phase as an important contributor as a uh, authority about this topic about this value about this uh, artistic vision or whatever it is it is then a bond because you are together uh, not only for a short time emotional time you are becoming something that is an important part of this longer journey and in this way you are able to contribute even more and more often with your artistic skills or with the artworks that you are um, you are uh, uh, offering it is a little bit of an approach that is always reminding me of a revolution a revolution then is then leading into a longer process of of changing the world in a way so um, this is also what i like about this uh, this concept it is really giving the people their the need that they are having of not only buying a piece of art but buying whole, the whole world surrounding the artist his values his artworks and so on and together it is a, a journey then that they are uh, having for for a longer time until they, the the interests are changing or the artist is perhaps losing the interest in or the artist is not anymore the the authority about certain things that started all this journey with the provocation and so on and others came into uh, the game but nevertheless it is a great approach especially when you really want to move people with your art when you are willing you are feeling also so strong about uh, your values and uh, about your artistic vision that you are ready to provoke people to to get the whole thing uh, started and it is a great um, position for artists who are more extroverted who are actually um, not want to be in the position when you have to listen a lot to your audience but you are actually the person that stands in the middle and that is deciding which direction is this going and you are also someone who is willing to break the eggs to to make the omelette 
and even wants to use this this controversial um, time that we are living right now to, to, to proclaim what you have to say and what you have to deliver in your art. So think about this possibility. As I was saying, it is a possibility that is really working very well because it is getting a lot of attention very fast. The, um, the point that is perhaps not easy is the beginning to find the right provocation that will get on both sides people actually that will self-perpetuate something that is drawing more and more attention uh, to it but actually when you are looking up on the social media you see all the topics where people are getting together to exchange their opposite uh, uh, opposite uh, beliefs in, in things and this can be perhaps a beginning and perhaps one of your values is actually something that will make a strong point to start this provocation, to start this conversation and to get uh, the attention. I hope you find, found this inspirational and I hope you like this idea to try out different uh, methods for proclaiming your art and getting the, the profit that your art is actually worth. I also hope to see you in my next video. Until then, see you soon. Bye bye.